Greetings and welcome back to Explore the Jator. Today I wanted to share a little story about why I hang out with my parents and ask and invite you to question why do you or don't you hang out with your parents. And for me, uh, I hang out with my parents because, at least for one story, uh, I don't know that I can find a clearer mirror for the parts of myself that uh, I don't like very much. And my parents embody that um, because essentially they're part of the blueprint that uh, I made myself and modeled myself after. So the the ideas that I deemed as positive, the ideas I deemed as negative, and everything else in between, some of those things I have embodied in myself uh, and their value sets uh, and what I perceived as a child uh, all became essentially uh, who I am today, uh, at least the unconscious parts of who I am today and maybe even the conscious parts of who I am today even as I continue to work on finding the unconscious parts. And that's kind of why, uh, at least from my perspective in this moment, the main reason I hang out with my parents is to get in touch with the unconscious parts that I hide from myself. Specifically, uh, the parts of myself that I deem uh, to be negative, essentially. Uh, or in denial of or don't know it are there. And how that kind of shows up is um, if I'm hanging out with my dad, for example, uh, I experience my dad to be, um, to perceive himself as uh, wise beyond his years, uh, maybe a know it all, um, arrogant. Uh, and really good at um, deflecting through uh, spiritual uh, work, meditation, uh, vipassana, uh, etc. And that's actually not a story about my dad. It's actually a story about me. And that story uh, is a story that I don't really like very much about myself. So when I'm around my dad, I get to project that out onto him, make that a story about him, and judge him and create separation between him and I and put myself up on a pedestal uh, so I can judge him and judge myself as better than my dad which is fascinating to me because essentially by doing that, I'm being exactly what I project onto my dad. I'm being arrogant, I'm being uh, uh, cocky, I'm being wise, I'm uh, being wiser than him. And it's a really powerful way to get in touch with aspects of yourself that uh, you're unconscious of and or unclear of. Um, so it's one reason why I choose to hang out with my parents. Uh, another reason is when I hang out with my parents, I get to bump up against the value set that I was raised with. The value set of what family means to my family. And I get to bump up against that and experience uh, where I have been compliant to those value sets and also where I've been defiant to those value sets. And I get to be curious about why I'm compliant to some and why I'm defiant to others. And that brings up a lot of things to start becoming aware of in the background of who I am as a person. Are these values that I learned actually values that I subscribe to today? Are there values that make sense for who I want to be in this moment? Uh, do I want to uh, 
get married? Do I want to have children? Do I want to um, live in a house and share the same room with my significant other? Uh, or do I want to do things differently than what I saw growing up? And that can be really scary. It can be really scary because there are parts of me that are loyal to my parents' values. And they're so loyal to my parents' values that to break away from that means I'm separating from my original family, essentially. I'm individuating and becoming uh, who I think I want to be, maybe uh, outside of the value sets and the quote-unquote boxes that I put myself in through growing up with this family. And not that these values are good, bad, wrong. It's just being curious around the ideas of, are these values mine? And are they values that I actually want to proliferate in my life? And some of them are, uh, at least for what I'm aware of, and some of them aren't. And when I'm around my parents, I get to experience and bump up against those values I also get to experience and bump up against myself. Uh, the parts of myself that I enjoy, the parts of myself that I don't enjoy. And a, a really easy exercise for each of you is to be curious about what gets triggered around your parents. What do you get angry about? What do you get emotionally charged about? What do you get afraid about? Uh, what do you project onto your parents? What are the stories that you make them into? And to take a moment and pause and check in and be curious, are those stories actually about you? And, you know, sometimes we hear this stuff and we take it into the very literal, like, oh, well, the story that I have about my mom or my dad doesn't apply to me at all. I don't do those things. I wonder if you'd be willing to take it out of the literal translation and look at it how it metaphorically shows up in your life, uh, how it shows up paradoxically. So the, the compliance versus defiance. Um, how does that show up in your life and uh, how do your values show up in your life in terms of are they your parents' values? Are they your values? Are they a teacher's values? Are they a social cultural value? How many unconscious conditioned beliefs do you have? I know I have tons that I'm, you know, slowly diving into and working around and getting deeper and deeper, I think, uh, into what makes me me unconsciously and becoming more conscious of how do I consciously and from a place of awareness start to choose and respond and uh, move out of those values or subscribe to those values out of awareness rather than out of habitual pattern of just what I've always seen. It's a really, really interesting practice for me. Um, you know, when you look at it through the perspective and the lens of how many of us dread the holidays because we have to hang out with our parents. Could we actually be saying we dread the holidays because we dread hanging out with ourselves? We dread hanging out with the part of ourselves that our parents remind us of so clearly. We also potentially dread hanging out with our parents because we get to see so clearly those values that may not be ours, that we continue to subscribe to around our parents or in our lives. And as a metaphor, what that essentially means, if we don't agree with those values, we're manipulating ourselves and contorting ourselves to fit into these boxes, to fit into the family, to 
feel okay, to get our needs met, to not be the black sheep. And all the while, there's a part of us that has no interest in these values anymore and wants to break free. Man, it is an awesome, awesome, very, very scary thing to do uh, for me to really start diving into your value sets, uh, where those values and ideas come from. What are those ideas that you self-identify with that are all around you in every moment? And your parents being, uh, for me, one of the clearest, cleanest ways to get in contact with your underlying values, your subconscious and unconscious programming, uh, where you've been compliant, where you've been defiant, it brings a huge amount of awareness to who you are to, at more subtle levels and how that shows up in your life, how that shows up in your intimate relationships, in your friendships, in your work relationship, in how hard you push yourself at work or how uh, lackadaisical you are, all of these things from our childhood that potentially we learn through our experience of ourselves around our parents and how we start to contort and manipulate ourselves to fit into the family or to not fit into the family and get our needs met that way. It's a fascinating practice that I would invite you to start diving into Another interesting aspect of that is as you start to see that maybe some of these stories are actually about you, not about your parents, something starts to change around your parents, for me at least. There starts to be a widening and an opening of compassion and empathy rather than judgment, condemnation towards your parents because you start to see these stories as actually about you. As you start to see them about you, you're no longer blaming the external, your parents, for your issues, for what's going on in your life. You're starting to take responsibility for how you perceive and move through the world. Which back to a video I did a while back, spiritual weightlifting, for me, part of spirituality is learning to take full responsibility for the life that you create through your perception of reality. So I'd invite you guys to uh, reconnect with your parents if you haven't. Uh, and I would also invite you guys, if you have excellent relationships with your parents, I would invite you guys to be curious about, is that actually true? And how compliant are you to their value sets, which make up the feeling, a feeling, of I have these great relationships with my parents and wonder, is that actually true? Or am I just being compliant to my parents' values? And that's what I did as a child, to feel safe, secure, and part of the family. It's an interesting exploration. Uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoy it, and I look forward to uh, sharing with you guys next week. Take care.